Hello everyone, my name is Caitlin and welcome back to my channel. So as you guys know, in my last video I had to take a survey to find out what would be the top 10 most voted for Disney Channel ships, and so I have that top 10 list today and I'm so excited to jump right into it. But before we do that, I did just want to mention that there was over 9,000 entries in the survey, which first of all is awesome, thank you so much, and second of all that means there was a lot of ships that got a lot of votes that obviously didn't make the top 10. And so I made a Twitter thread of the top 100 most voted for ships, so if you want to know who made that list, the link is in the description, you can go and check that out. Um, but yeah, let's move on to number 10. It's beautiful. I had to do something cool for a anniversary. It all happened right here. You were walking to the beach, I sat there watching Wet Side Story on my tablet. And I thought, who is the surfer dude with the shiny hair? And you said... Wanna watch the awesomest movie ever made? <laughs> and I said, I don't think awesomest is a real word. And even if it was, that movie's definitely not it. Then I said, check it out with me. If you don't have a good time, I'll buy you a mango smoothie. Either way, you win. And... And I do love makeups. Yeah. <laughs> you did all this for me. I I'd swim to China for you. So I was very pleasantly surprised to see that Brady and Mac made the list. I don't think they'd be on my personal top 10 list, so I think that's why I was surprised. But once I thought about it more, like it made sense because Teen Beach Movie does have like a pretty big fan base. But it does kind of suck when you think about it because I don't think that their story was done very well, like in the movies. Like you start the movie off and they're already together and so you never really got to see their meet cue and then they break up fairly early on in the movie and then they're kind of fighting throughout like the majority of the first movie. Then they get back together in the end, it's cute and all, but then you go on to the second movie and it's basically the same thing all over again. And then it gets even worse with the ending of Teen Beach 2 because they like ruin everything. So basically like everything that happened in the past two movies with their relationship isn't a thing anymore. Like it's not canon, I guess, because it was undone because they forgot. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. That's so dumb. But that aside, like I feel like they're a good pair. And so yeah, I was happy to see that they're on this list and that I got to talk about them. What you doing? <laughs> Is this step taken? I actually came by to say goodbye to you. Off to school, huh? Yeah, I'm going two weeks early because I'm an RA and in soccer, debate camp, student government. Yeah, I haven't seen you all summer. I've been busy. You know, Belgique said something funny. He said you had a crush on me back in grade school. Oh, yeah. I had a big crush on you. Wow, I had no idea. Really? I thought I was being so obvious. Absolutely clueless. Sorry. I sort of gave up when we got to high school. Yeah, I think that's when I started having a thing for you. So this ship really came as no surprise to me. I know that Phineas and Ferb has such a big fandom and this is like the main ship from the show. So it made sense that this one would get so many votes. Also, they're just the perfect case of like friendship to lovers, but then also like Phineas being like so oblivious and not seeing what was right in front of them. But then Isabella like having this cute little crush on him the whole time made for like so many cute moments. They're also just like so pure. Like they're just these like two kids that are just friends, but then one of them likes them. Like it's just so cute. How could you not ship them? I just want to like protect them and their love because they're just too pure for this world, you know? Yeah, plus that grown-up scene is like... Everything. It's such a cute scene! Yeah, where they kiss at the end, it was so good. Why are you doing that? Did you text me or something? No. Oh. What are you doing? <laughs> I messaged John, I was like, what do you think of Phoenix? Oh. <laughs> so I'm waiting for his response. Okay, let me know when he replies. <laughs> oh, he is? Okay. Yeah. You were making like the weirdest face. I'm like, what's happening right now? I was right excited now? to just be like, so you want, to, you want to know what John thinks? Yeah, I do. He's like the certified Phineas and Ferb fan, I feel like, on Caleb's Disney. Like, we need John's opinion. So far it says, hmm. Oh, he's thinking. Oh. Oh. What? Does he not ship them? What did he say? Hold on, he's still typing. Okay. <laughs> I'm so curious to see John's input. Should I read as they come? Sure. I would describe it as funny. It's okay. so overdramatic, it's funny. She is so clearly into him. Uh-huh. Typing. And he's so oblivious to the fact that she does. That yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> describing the situation. <laughs> is that it? I think he thinks it's funny. He likes that's the cute. because it's funny. Yeah, okay. There we go. John says it's funny. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Say no more. Jay. Hey, hey. Uh, would you go to Cotillion with me? Yeah, yeah, sure. We're all taking a stretch carriage over at six. No, no, no. The pen toppers in the port side cabin. No, I, I mean, with me. Yeah, want me to swim by your room? 
No, no, no. So when you're on the boat facing the left, yeah, yeah, right. No, 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 not right, left. Uh, this is gonna be tricky. Jane? Would you be my date for Cotillion? And if you don't absolutely hate me by the end of it, um, would you consider maybe being more than friends? Maybe? Like boyfriend and girlfriend, we can hold hands instead of slugging each other all the time, and we can text, and I can tell you how great you are because Carlos, you're really, really great, and I'm, I'm the luckiest girl in the world. You're so nice and cute. Me too. I am the luckiest girl. I mean, guy. Luckiest guy. So talk about another ship that I just feel like is too pure for their own good. I love Jane and Carlos so much and so I was so happy to see that they made this list and like I was pretty surprised to see how high up they were but then when I thought about it it made more sense just because of like how big the Descendants fandom is and it could have something to do with Cameron but I don't think that that's a bad thing. They're still such a cute ship and we should be talking about them more because they're just so adorable. Right? Like is there really anything else to say about them besides like they cute? I find it really interesting because like no tea, no shade, but I totally forgot they exist. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, I thought that they were kind of underrated, and so it was cool to see, like, so much love for them. Yeah, it's very interesting that they made the list. Yeah. And they are cute. They are cute. Justin, I know it's right. I'm just scared I'll never see you again. You will. This won't be forever. I promise. I tracked down this Joker once, and I'll do it again. You're my vampire. And you're my wizard. Okay, now we just gotta get through the soundproof barrier somehow if we wave to the kids. I love you, Juliet. I love you, Justin. So I was so happy to see that Justin and Juliet made this list because they're one of my personal favorite Disney Channel ships and I always kind of thought that they were a little bit underrated but like I guess not because they got lots of votes but then I guess it's kind of the same thing as what I've been saying all along which is the show is really popular and so I guess that makes the ship more popular. But if there's any ship that deserves to be on this list, it's Justin and Juliet because they went through a lot to be together. Like even just at the beginning with being forbidden lovers and then Juliet getting captured by a mummy and then Justin goes and finds her. But then like literally right when he finds her, she turns into an old lady and hobbles off into the woods and then they can't be together for like a really long time until like they get back together. And I feel like that was hard. I don't really remember how they got back to- Oh yeah, because she got captured by the dark angel, I think. I don't know, but that definitely happened. And then I think that's how they got back together. Anyways, like super tragic love story. But then also like, I feel like when they were together, they were so good together. Like I imagine they're off somewhere growing old or in Juliet's case, growing older and like having little wizard vampire babies. That'd be interesting. Like a wizard vampire. I'd watch that. That should be a spinoff. Make a spinoff with Juliet and Justin's children, right? Yeah, what about like werewolf wizards? True, but we'll talk about that in a second. <laughs> ben. I never told you that I loved you because I thought that I wasn't good enough. And I thought that it was only a matter of time before you realized that yourself. Please. But Ben, that's me. I'm part Isle and part Oridon. Ben, eyes over here. And Ben, you've always known who we were and who we can be. Don't listen to her. Ben, I know what love feels like now. Of course I love you. Man, I've always loved you. So I gotta say, I'm a little bit surprised that this ship isn't higher on the list, but then again, I know not everyone ships them as much as I do, but for me personally, Mal and Ben would probably be my favorite decom ship, like, of all time. I just think their story in the first movie is so well done, like, and just the whole concept of, like, the goody two-shoes boy falling for, like, the bad girl and the bad girl kind of showing her more, like, sensitive side and liking, like, the goody two-shoes boy, it's just... It's perfect. I love it. I do still feel like Disney Channel didn't highlight their relationship enough in the second and third movies. I feel like they were just like, we'll make them get engaged and that's good enough, right? When it's like, no, I want to see the development towards an engagement. I want to see them being cute and in love. And I want a Mal and Ben duet. I'm so upset that we never got a Mal and Ben duet. Like, it's probably because Mitchell Hope like isn't really much of a singer, but I don't care. I wish we got one. Um, but yeah, overall, they're cute. I like them. Holden! <laughs> 
Hey, Liv. You need something? Uh, yes. You... What? Well, Holden, will you go out with me? Seriously? I, mean, I thought you said we couldn't date because you didn't want to hurt Andy. Well, I know, but actually, Andy's the one who told me to come over here and do this. It turns out she doesn't care about you, like, at all. <laughs> so, will you go out with me? Yes. <laughs> yes, no, I, I'll absolutely go out with you. I don't want to wait another minute. Come on, let's go. Okay. Oh, wait, no, well, I mean, right now we have school. <laughs> what about tonight, though? I can't tonight. Tomorrow? I'm working. Uh, how about Thursday? Thursday should be wide open. Yes. <gasps> oh, this is so romantic. <laughs> oh, no. This cannot happen. Oh, no, no, no. Andy said it was OK. Oh, well, then, yes. Willow, stop getting in the way of love. <laughs> so Liv and Holden is another ship that I totally thought was underrated, but apparently they're not, which honestly makes me very happy because they'd be very high up on my own top 10 list. And so I'm just happy that they're getting the recognition that they deserve. The one thing that bugs me about Holden and Liv is that they were never really confirmed Endgame, like it was implied, but I wish I would have seen them getting back together on the show. And I know a lot of people didn't really like the whole love triangle thing with Holden and Andy and Liv, but I liked it. I thought it added a lot of drama. The only thing I didn't like about it was how quick Holden was to say yes to Andy because I felt like they didn't really show him having any interest towards her and then he just said yes and so that was kind of weird but then it made for some really good moments between Liv and Holden with like the forbidden love and all of that and so yeah I was down for the love triangle I was down for the drama and I was down for Holden and Liv they're like honestly one of the best ships on Disney Channel and so I was really happy to see that they were like number five on this list like that's really good I love them we love them okay cool I'm happy that we have that mutual agreement I want this feeling to keep going because this whole experience I'm just, I'm not ready for it to be over. For us to be, I mean. And if that means doing another musical, I'm fine. I get to pick musical. Fine, <laughs> that's fine, it's all fine. I just, I don't want this to be just a showmance, really. I want it to be the real thing. I mean, I think it is the real thing, I just, I, I want a chance to prove it, I do. I mean, look. Ricky, um, you know in musicals and people burst into song when they've run out of things to say? Yeah. Sometimes it's easier to just kiss. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I don't think I'm eating my words. Like, I get it. I promoted the survey on a video literally about this show, and so obviously I was gonna get people voting on this ship, and it's also like a new hip show, and so it's trendy and it's fresh in a lot of people's minds. And so it like makes sense that it would have this much votes. I would actually be really interested to see if like in a few years time, if this ship would be as popular as it is right now. Like, does it have that like long lasting quality that like some of the other ships on this list have? Like. That's what I'd want to know. They're probably the only ship on this list that I don't ship, but I still like see why people do ship them. Like I don't not ship them because I hate them. Like I just like don't really care for them. I also feel like it's worth noting that this show isn't a Disney Channel original. And so if you want this list to be like more official, I guess you would just take them off and then put whoever is at number 11 at number 10. Um, but I included it mainly cause like it's still in the High School Musical universe. And so like, I don't know, why not? Anyways, let's move on. <laughs> 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 may I have this dance? Why, of course you may. Let's go then. <laughs> you are gonna get so wet. <laughs> So I gotta say, I was very surprised to see that Troy and Gabriella wasn't the number one ship. I guess when I just made this survey, I just assumed that they would be number one because they're from one of the most popular Disney Channel franchises of all time. And I know people always talk about how much they love them and I just never really understood it that much. Like, that's not to say I don't ship them. I think there was definitely a time when I would say I didn't ship them, but now I'm kind of just like, sure, why not? I've just always kind of found them to be a bit boring. And then I always felt like their story in every single movie was exactly the same with like them being happy and then Troy does something dumb. And so Gabriella sings a song about it and then they get back together by the end of the movie. 
I guess the third one's kind of different because like college and stuff but yeah I just found them to be a bit boring because they're just like two teenagers in high school but then now I'm kind of like I get it it's kind of cute that it's just two teenagers in high school because you don't need to like over complicate it I can respect that I definitely respect them for like what they are and what they've done for Disney Channel I think is really cool I mean they didn't really do anything but it, like the movies that they're in this you're glaring boring. at me <laughs> they're so boring. yeah but it's kind of nice that they're like a little simple but like still cute and they do have a lot of cute moments in their movies too I'm just happy you're here and I can't believe you made our cake we might not be able to eat it, but there's still enough to do this. <laughs> that would have been a lot cuter if you weren't already covered in cake. Oh, like this? <laughs> this is sweet now, but can you please start your presentation? Shh, you're ruining the moment. <laughs> oh, just kiss her already. So I definitely thought that Austin and Allie would be on this list, but I really didn't think they'd be this high up. Like, to beat Troy and Gabriella is a pretty big accomplishment, and so, like, good on them. They are a really good, like, best friends to lovers story, so I totally understand that. I just personally don't think that they were developed in the best way. Like, I feel like in season one, they are very, like, we don't like each other, we are just friends. And then the second season came around, and they're like, just kidding, we like each other now. And I just felt like it wasn't a very natural progression. I would have liked it to be a bit slower. Um, but that's just my opinion, so, like, who cares? <laughs> but on the surface, like, I ship them. I think that they're cute. Um, but yeah, let's move on to the number one ship. I wonder what it could be. Are you okay? Sounds like you've got a bit of a chest cold. We need to get you out of this rain and inside. Oh. Wait. Are you done drawing me? Yeah. I feel like painting some dogs. Good. <laughs> You should do that. But kiss me first. But you have a cold. Just kiss me. So I knew that this ship was popular, but I really didn't think that they'd be number one. And it was really cool to see, like, during the voting process, like, Alex and Mason went to the top spot right when the survey went live and basically stayed there the whole time, which, like, is really cool. Like, good for them. And I do really like their relationship, especially with, like, how they meet and then fall in love and then Alex has to let him go, but then she works so hard to get him back. It's just a really cute story. I don't think they'd be my favorite Disney Channel ship, mainly because of that time when they were broken up. I didn't really like Mason's character and, like, where they took him. I found him to be a bit annoying and clingy, um, but I did really like how they got back together near the end of the show. I have that was really well done and they are just so cute and so I understand that they'd be your guys' favorite Disney Channel ship. But let me know down below, did you vote for Alex and Mason or did you vote for another ship? Also let me know down below if you guys would like to see this video but like a non-canon version because I'd love to see what your guys' favorite non-canon Disney Channel ship is. So let me know down below what you guys want to see. I can't wait to read all about it. Anyways guys, my name is Caitlin. You can follow me everywhere at Caitlin's Disney. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on that bell so you're notified every time I post a new video. But that's all I have to say for today. Hope you'll have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you very very soon. <laughs> <laughs> I think you mentioned werewolves and wizards babies when we talked about Justin and Juliet. Yeah, they're not actually as cute as vampire babies. I would know. <laughs>